I know she didn't just do that, man. Stay tuned to see what happens next. All right, y'all, welcome back to another video, man. My name is JR. If you're new, hit that like button and subscribe, man, for more lit content. And I got a Patreon that you can subscribe to for extra content. We going Liddy over there. And I also got a second channel, man. You can subscribe to that, man. Posting lit content over there as well. With that said, let's get to the video. Babe. Yeah. Did you know that a bull fucks 3,000 times a year? Why can't you do that? Ask the bull if he fucks the same miserable cow every night. So, that one there was a violation. Personally, I wouldn't have. I feel like he's been waiting to say that. She definitely set herself up good. Violation thing. Hey there, brother. Do you have time to talk about Jesus Christ today? Oh, you're dead? Oh, okay. Well, you have yourself a blessed day. Okay, you too. You mother. You know, I never been approached by a Jehovah's Witness, but if I did, I probably would do something like this. Or I'd just tell them I'm a Satanist. What did you say, nigga? Alright, so I have a question for y'all. What would you do if your girl actually talked to you like this? Babe, hmm? I miss your attention. You've been neglecting me. Is everything okay? I mean, do you need anything for me to help you feel closer to me so I can have more of your focus? <laughs> Bro, and then she said, do I need anything from her so I can feel closer to her and she can have more of my focus? Nothing. I was just sitting there looking stupid, giggling like Peppa Pig. Yeah, honestly, man, if my girl came to me like that, I would hear her out and try to improve the situation, man. Because that's, that's a peaceful woman right there. Because, like, the opposite of this that a lot of girls will do is like, Well, y'all's on your phone. You ain't talking to me. You ain't looking at me. Why well, y'all is neglecting me? And then that's gonna trigger something off in our head, like... Who the fuck are you talking to? So her tone and energy is gonna set something off within you, and you're just gonna shut off everything she says, and not listen. And then it's gonna be a back and forth argument. But this right here... This is some good communication right here, man. <laughs> are you ready? <laughs> What's your name again? Alright. <laughs> Okay, that at that point, that's not even funny, man. That's just devastating. Violation something. And the Fool of the Year award goes to this guy right here that thought it would be cool to light himself on fire. So he pours gasoline on himself. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, that's good. Oh, Alright, that's good. Oh, fuck go. Then he gets up on the ledge and lights himself. Go, go, go! No, I can't. Oh come on, come on, come on. Come on, you gotta go. Go, 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 go. Do it. Go, right now. So of course I can't show you this part on YouTube guidelines, so I had to blur it out. But just know he did light himself on fire, became a human torch, and then went for a dive in the water. Oh, oh, my God. God. And it seems like he's good, but that was incredibly stupid, man. This is like one of those questions. If your friend lit himself on fire, would you do too? He would be the one to come up and say, hell yeah, I would. Dumbass, man. <laughs> Alright, so here's a video demonstrating how men communicate versus how women communicate. What's your day? It's good. I woke up and went to work. I'm a manager. She's such a bitch. That's about right, man. That's about right. And here's a comment of a woman that clearly didn't get the joke. She says, tell me that you don't like women without telling me you don't like women. Okay, just making a joke like this or a video like this, it doesn't mean that you don't like women. You're just making light of a situation, bro. These hands are rated E for everyone, man. Everyone gets the same treatment. Because whether it was a man or a woman, a criminal is a criminal. You can't hit a police officer and expect not to get any consequence. And here's a video that's just, it's just sad, man. So sad that Apollo will make you laugh. This is just awful, bro. <laughs> Oh shit, how is her midsection built like a hot dog, bro? What the fuck? How is this so wide? <laughs> How do you even get to this point, man? How do you get to this point? I've never been in a situation where I could not get through the door. If she don't take this as a wake-up call, I don't know what she gonna do with her life, bro. 
And you mainly see a lot of this in America because the food has so much calories compared to other countries, man. And to get to this level of fatness, it definitely gotta be an addiction. You're just constantly eating, binge eating. Cause you're gonna look yourself in the mirror and then wanna keep eating, looking like that. You must not love yourself. Come on, man. It's time for her to get in the gym and feel better about herself like this lady right here. When it comes to losing weight, oh baby, I'ma do it. She lost the weight, but she kept some in the right places, if you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Shout out to her, man. I was married. We were together for nine years, and we had two little boys. But when our boys were six weeks old, my husband had a terrible accident. Um, it was a really really hard time in my life um he tripped and fell and landed in his co-worker's vagina and he's still stuck there <laughs> this man tripped and fell in some vagina whoopsie <laughs> when i saw this video man i did not expect the story to take this turn she should be a comedian honestly man that was great comedic timing right there Hey guys, I think we've learned something from seeing this video. If you want to fix your relationship with your girl, smack her ass, okay? Smack her ass. Frugal and you're gonna be cheap. It's like you shouldn't be dating anyways to begin with. If I was a man, I would take so much pride and honor in being the man, taking care of things and being like, oh, how dare you even pretend to pull out your wallet. Even if it's just this feminine thing that they have to them that they just, oh yeah, I'll let the girl pay. Yeah. Honestly, if I was a guy, even if I saw like I was a guy and I saw a random girl paying for her valet, I probably would have so much pride. Like, I'd, I'd pay for the random yes. person. I would not be able to be a man around women letting them pay for things. Well, say we're with a guy, we're at the valet, and we have cash, and the guy's sitting next to me with the cash, and you're gonna let me pay the $10? I can't even imagine being a man. Truly, from the bottom of my heart, I would feel like a literal woman if my girl, like, asked me for something, and I was like, oh, that's... I'll give someone my last dollar. My mom and Ari literally got into a fist fight in 7-Eleven <laughs> over who is gonna pay. To be quite honest, it's embarrassing. What are you being frugal for? You can't take it with you when you die. There's only one thing that you take when you go to heaven and that's souls you can only take other people that's only people that you brought to jesus that you'll see in heaven other than that like you're not bringing any of it with you it's the biggest turn off ever i swear they don't think before they speak man because look because why would i go on my way to pay for a random girl that i don't even know oh just because you're a girl i'm gonna pay for your drink automatically i, I, I don't know you i walk into gucci right and i see a random girl looking at a dress and just because she's a girl i'm be like oh shit girl let me buy you that dress I must drop $4,000 on a dress just because it's a girl. Why do you want me to use my wallet on people I don't know? Listen, man, I'm going to take care of what's mine. I'm going to take care of my family. I don't owe strangers shit. And here's a video of an African mom trying to get her son some pussy. Auntie running some game, man. She eyeing the girl up and down, say, yeah, this one look nice. She'll fit right into the family. Hey, how would you feel if your mom was trying to pick up a girl for you? Me, personally, I wouldn't feel no type of way unless my mom embarrasses me and the girl's not that good looking. So I guess I would feel some type of way. Forget what I said. <laughs> nah, I won't let my mom do that for me, man. She'd probably embarrass the fuck out of me. She'd probably start showing the girls my baby pictures and shit and talking about stuff I used to do as a kid. You know, I used to poop everywhere. <laughs> And pee the bed, bro. Yeah, yeah, you know what? Yeah, I wouldn't do it, man. I wouldn't do it. Abort mission, man. This streamer right here got one of her mods to join the stream. And then she was dared to kiss him. And her reaction to kissing him was just so like, like, damn, she's so bad, bro. Can't do it. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. Can you come closer? Oh, this close? Okay. Yes. Okay, okay. Whenever you're ready. Can you pucker up? Pucker up. This is my, I have small lips. 
I know his ego is crushed after this. <laughs> but anyways, man, thank y'all for watching. I will see y'all in the next one. Peace out, y'all.